Cześć, to Hubert Grupa, Brand New Andem. Witamy Was z Good Time Radio, gdzie rozpoczynamy cykl wywiadów i nagrań w ramach e, festiwalu Spring Break. E, naszym gościem jest e, Oliver Heim. Hi, Oliver. Hi. Okay, e, so e, we will start. E, Oliver, it was about two months ago when we met uh, last time and we talked after your concert when you played two new songs and it was a little bit like kindness i know that you are a big fan and uh, adam bainbridge uh, played a gig uh, at uh, red bull music academy weekender how was it uh yeah it was really cool to see him because i i always wanted to see kindness it was kind of on one of my top bands to still see uh so when he came to uh, to warsaw i had to go see him of course so i went pretty much only to see him on the festival it was really It's really cool. It's a really energetic show. He's got so much energy and such charisma. It was uh, it was great, and all the songs he played, yeah, it's fun. Okay. Uh, Oliver, we also talk about your uh, new album. You said that it will be uh, recorded uh, this summer, yes? Well, I don't really know yet. I'm I'm just kind of playing around with new ideas at the moment, and I'm trying to find uh, yeah find the right way to to write the new songs, like. The, those two new songs I played on the previous show, I'm still also trying to experiment with them and I'm not sure yet if I'll put them on the record or not, so it's still not really clear. I'm hoping to do some recording during the summer, but I don't know yet if I would release it right after the summer or if I'm going to try making another whole record out of it. I'm still playing around with ideas, so we'll just have to be patient and see. <laughs> You know, I think it will be so quick when you will uh, record uh, new stuff uh, after one year from a uh, release, uh, the first uh, album. Yeah, that's also the thing. I would like to, you know, give the material that I release now some some time as well. I want to focus on playing gigs. I started playing on the, in a solo setup, so I'm focused a lot on the concerts as well. And I'm I'm just gonna take my time. I don't want to rush anything. Mm -hmm. it doesn't make any sense. And I would prefer to, to make the next record something special in itself. So there's no need to rush. I have some time still, I guess. So we'll see how it plays out. You know, that's the best way. <laughs> you know, uh, when we when I think about you and a kindness, I think that your new stuff will be sounds great with a whole band. Do you want to play with uh, any uh, artists at the same stage? Uh, what do you mean? Exactly? You know, uh, you uh, play at uh, this uh, tour mm -hmm. uh, by yourself or only in a duo. Mm -hmm. And what about playing in a, in a band? Well, I still also play in a band setup. I have a gig in uh, in August with the band in Warsaw. So I, I still like playing with the band. It just kind of depends on the on the situation. When it comes to recording the new material, I'm I'm quite sure I'll do it in a band setup again, because I like very much playing a concert solo. But I think when it comes to the record, there's something very special when there's you know interaction between musicians. There are a lot of really cool musicians in Warsaw that I that I really enjoy to work with. So it's just great to to work with them on a record and and have them you know in the music there. And I think the the record has to have kind of a much much more of a life of its own when you play live it's really in the moment and then the moment's gone and the concert's over and you know you move on but with the record it's something that stays for a long time so i also want it to be something that you know can can have a life of its own and i, I think when you play with other musicians there's some kind of magic that that stays interesting and you can keep coming back to a record and hear new things that you didn't hear before I think that, yeah, that's something special with playing with other people, so I think for sure I'll be doing that on the next record too. Sounds cool. Uh, okay, uh, you traveled with your solo material uh, one year, yes? Mm -hmm. uh, and what did you learn from it? Because it's your first uh, solo uh, tour. Yeah, it's it's quite a crazy experience. Also, you know, for me, it's even new to be uh, to be kind of in the front of the project because I was playing in Trebi for such a long time, uh, and I learned a lot about you know playing guitar and performing as a guitarist. But performing as a singer is really a very different thing. So I think one of the main things that I've learned from from a year of playing gigs is is singing. You know, I'm really trying to develop my singing, and I noticed that the the energy and the feelings that you bring with singing is is the main thing of the of the concert it kind of carries people through your show so i never really knew that and i i think it's a it's a really interesting new thing for me to to be engaged in because when it comes to playing guitar i feel i've 
I've kind of reached a level that I'm happy with and I know how to get the sound that I like. But with singing, it's a whole new thing. So that's, that's exciting and I, I'm you know, continuing down that road and I think I'll still be learning a lot in the next, you know, who knows how many years. <laughs> uh, once we talk about uh, two of your playlists at Spotify, Modern Chill and uh, Vintage Chill, you said it's a collection of songs uh, which you inspired by. Uh, are you discovering new artists who may become your inspiration at the new material? Uh, well, funny thing is that I've always been uh, much more inspired by old music than new music. And even though I like new bands like like Kindness or Conan Mokassan or Blood Orange, uh, they also all kind of have this this reference to to 80s stuff or 70s stuff. And that's the stuff that I'm you know really excited about at the moment. And I I've, I was focused more on the 70s sound, I guess, for the for the for the last record bit of a Marvin Gaye kind of Beach Boys thing maybe and now I feel that I'm kind of looking more in, in the 80s period so into some synthesizers and some some yeah, some crazy beat sounds with a lot of reverbs uh, so I think you know I'm still really inspired by the old stuff so I'm sur I'm you know listening a lot to to the to the oldies still okay uh, Oliver Mas, my last question uh, last week you started with your first crowdfunding action Uh, your fans can help you to make a, a video clip uh, to the next single, For A Part. Uh, I keep my fingers crossed uh, and I also support you. Uh, do you have any idea how the video, video clip uh, will look like? Uh, yeah, we have some ideas. I'm gonna work with the same team as I did on the, on the previous clip. And we're gonna kind of develop a little bit from, from the first video clip. We're gonna make a second clip, which is kind of like a you know, a progression from the first one, so just to also to have some coherency. And it fits for me the record, which all the songs also have some kind of coherency. Uh, and we're thinking of, of shooting it again in Poland, but instead of uh, some palaces, we're gonna, we're gonna head out into the, into the nature, so into the Polish nature. And we're probably gonna make something that uh, relates to the, to the kind of agricultural vibe of Poland. So this yearly uh, process that people start in the spring, we're going to be shooting it in spring, starts this process of growing you know, new crops, growing new things, and the land kind of gets a, gets a new life in the spring. And there's this yearly routine that keeps continuing you know, over time. And that's something that relates very much to the record, which is also about starting over, starting a new period of your life, you know, moving into a new chapter. Uh, so I think we're gonna do something along those lines. We don't know exactly yet what it's going to be. While, while this crowdfunding process is going on, we'll be developing ideas and, you know, posting stuff online. But yeah, I really hope it's going to work out. So far, it's been going pretty good. We have like 33% of the, of the, of the, whatever it's called, the limit. Okay. And uh, yeah, I, I hope people will, will like the project and, and be up for investing in it. Okay, so I wish you to finish your uh, crowdfunding project uh, well and also we invite everyone to, to uh, help you and support you in, in this action. Yes, okay. support me in the project. Okay, it was very nice to meet you again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.